Hello there, and thanks for joining us. I'm happy to be with you today. We're going to do some biomimicry thinking and learn to distinguish between biological functions, strategies, and mechanisms. So we know that biomimicry is about emulating nature's genius in order to build sustainable human designs in the human design world. And a big link between discovering an amazing adaptation in nature and creating a human design that's based on it involves building what we call a function bridge. It links the natural biological idea um, to how it can actually be emulated in the human design world. Identifying the function, strategy, and mechanism of the inspirational idea we see in nature is really key in order to help us build this function bridge that connects biologists with engineers and designers. We can define the function of a biological adaptation as what nature is doing. And since nature uses multifunctional design, this toucan bill, for instance, is actually doing many things. It picks up food, attracts a mate, feeds its young. And did you know that the toucan bill also works to help this warm-blooded organism thermoregulate and stay cool? That's right. One function of the bill is to dissipate heat. The function is what nature is doing. And in this case, we're thinking about this bill dissipating heat. The strategy is a general explanation of how the function is met. So we might ask, how does a toucan bill dissipate heat? And we would discover that the strategy is to use the bill to radiate the excess heat from the warmer blood inside the bill to the cooler air surrounding it. The mechanism can be determined by figuring out how the strategy works. So we would ask, well, how does radiating heat from the warmer blood inside the Dugan's bill to the cooler air outside the Dugan's bill actually work? And defining the mechanism is much more in depth. It's a, it usually requires digging into the primary literature in order to find out exactly how that um, strategy works. And if we did that, in the case of the toucan bill, we would find out that toucans are able to control or regulate how much blood flows into the blood vessels inside of their bills. So they can either constrict blood flow so that less blood is flowing into those blood vessels and therefore less heat is radiating out of the bill into the cooler air. Or they can open up those blood vessels. They can dilate them or expand them and that means more blood is flowing into the bill through this extensive surface area and if more blood is flowing in, more heat can radiate out to the cooler air. Not only that, but the toucans also use convection to vent heat to their surroundings. Convection means using the wind to help cool themselves off. So on a windy day, the toucan can aim its bill into the wind and help dissipate even more heat through that convection. And on the other hand, if it's already pretty cold or already in a good temperature range, um, and it doesn't want to lose any more heat convectively to the wind, the toucan might stick its bill underneath its wing in order to prevent heat loss through convection. So that mechanism is a detailed explanation about how the strategy actually works. Let's summarize. We've said that the function is the simplest description of an adaptation that we see in nature. It's basically what nature's doing. And the strategy is, it explains in general terms how that function is achieved. The mechanism requires a thorough understanding. Doing some research in the primary literature, it's going to explain how the strategy works. Remember, our eventual goal is to prepare to build that function bridge linking up a biological strategy to a human design challenge in the human-built world. We want to emulate nature's genius and help build 
sustainable human designs. So function, strategy, and mechanism help us build that bridge to get there. So, are you ready to practice? Let's distinguish between function, strategy, and mechanism using some really cool examples from the biological world.